Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting in a Zombu snake from the game Wild West Exodus from War Cradle Studios. But first I'd like to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming. If you check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to their web store and every time you purchase anything from this link it greatly helps my YouTube channel. I have painted up the Nazombu snake to a pleasing tabletop standard. It took me about an hour and a half to paint. I hope you like this tutorial guys and you follow along with it and you check out Wild West Exodus miniatures as they look absolutely fantastic. As always guys these tutorials are very long so go grab yourselves a nice hot drink and we'll get started with the tutorial. Start off by priming the miniature using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer White. It's important to be well ventilated whilst using lacquer primers guys as they're very harmful if inhaled. After priming I'm coming in with Olive Drab Shadow from the War Game series from AK Interactive. Here I'm pre-shading. What that basically means is I'm going around all the recesses and all the areas where natural shadows will form with the airbrush. I'm using my trusty Awata Eclipse airbrush here guys. And I have a discount code from graphicair.co.uk where you can save £10 on a, a water eclipse. If you look in the description box below, I'll put a direct link to graphicair.co.uk and the code is orcnerd10. Pre shading is a really fun stage of airbrushing, guys, as it enables you to get in really close to the miniature and pick out some of the really nice details. Here I'm doing the pre-shading at 20 psi. Now we're going to come in with a base coat using Olive Drab Light Base. It's important to note that I'm placing down the light base colour very thinly as to not cover up too much of the pre-shading as I really want to show the shadows.
Now I'm going to place some highlights down on the miniature using Olive Drab Highlights. Cree Cark is going to be painted on the underbelly of the snake. Now I'm going to wash the entirety of the miniature using dark streaking grime and some odourless thinner. You can use white spirit as well. It's important to note that I mixed it about one to one or actually to be honest it was two parts thinner to one part streaking grime. You might want to uh, thin it even more than I did um, as I think I placed down the wash too thickly. Now I'm going to dry brush all over the snake using Death Guard Green. Now I'm going to dry brush using edge highlight paint from Games Workshop called Creed Khaki.
The army painter's crusted saw is going to be painted on all of the straps that are wrapped around the snake. And here you can see what the snake looks like after all of the straps have been painted using the crusted saw colour from Army Painter. Here I'm painting using the side of my brush using Games Workshop's Mephisto and Red. And although it's not the best angle to show you guys, I'm trying to leave the crusted saw behind in the recesses of the straps and trying to catch the edges of the straps with the Mephisto and Red. Here you can see what the snake looks like after painting the straps with the Mephisto and red. Now I'm going to add some more highlights using Games Workshop's layer paint Wild Rider Red. 
and here you'll see that I'm using even less paint to paint on all of the bouts that are wrapped around the snake. The Army Painters Gunmetal is going to be painted on all of the areas of the snake that needs to be painted metallic. The base is painted using Vallejo Game Air Leather Brown. Dark tone wash from the Army Painter is going to be painted on all of the metallic areas. Important to note not to let the wash pull too much as this is such a really strong tone.
The base gets painted using the Army Painter's Strong Tone Wash. few things that I forgot to include in this painting tutorial. One of them was painting the eyes. I used Games Workshop's Flash Gits Yellow and the tongue was painted using Empress Children Pink. The base was uh, painted using Vallejo Game Air Black and I think that about covers everything for this tutorial guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial guys. I had great fun painting this miniature. It's a beautiful sculpt from War Cradle Studios, Wild West Exodus, and I really hope you check out the game, guys, because I think it's absolutely fantastic. Please don't forget to check the link in the description box down below for Goblin Gaming, and also please use that link if you do purchase anything. And lastly, guys, hit the like button and please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the tutorial, and thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.